Hi friend, we have a nice beginner's yoga sequence for you today. Um, very gentle, easy on the body. I'm not using any props in this video, just my mat and my body. So go ahead, get set up in your space and I'll see you on the mat. Okay friends, begin to come to your mat and we're gonna come down to a seated position, coming into our easy pose. You wanna allow yourself to feel as settled as possible in this position. If this is uncomfortable, you can uncross your legs. We're gonna bring our arms out to the side. We're gonna inhale up, palms facing up. Exhale it down. And again, inhale up. Exhale down. One more time, inhale up and exhale it down this time we're going to bring the palms of our hands together bring our hands to the center of our heart and begin to breathe you can place one hand on the chest and one hand on the belly right at the abdomen right at the belly button and simply begin to breathe here begin to prepare yourself for your practice allow your mind and body to relax Speak nice, positive things to yourself here. I always like to tell myself I am enough. Now we're going to bring our hands to our knees and we're going to begin to rotate in circles, starting um, to the right. So we're just going to rotate to the right, coming in and around. We're not worried about the breath. We're just breathing. We're not holding our breath. We're inhaling and exhaling. And you want to go ahead and reverse it to the other side. Allow yourself to really warm up here. Feel your body just settling into uh, your yoga practice. From here, let's start some seated cat cow. So we're going to inhale. We're going to bring our chest forward. Inhale our chin up. And as we exhale, we're going to bring our chin down to our chest, rounding out through the back. Inhale, chin up, chest forward. Exhale, rounding out through the back, bringing that belly in towards the rib cage. And again, keep moving at your own pace for about two or three more rounds here. From here, we're gonna take our right hand, we're gonna place it back behind us on the mat. Our left hand comes on the outside of our right thigh. We're gonna twist to the right, leading with the chest. Make sure the chin is nice and open. Our chest is nice and open here and exposed. And just begin to breathe, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth, or a natural breath. Now we switch to the other side. This time, left hand comes back behind and our right hand comes to the outside of our left thigh. And we twist to the left and we breathe. We continue to just breathe in and out. Releasing that pose, we're gonna inhale our arms up. This time, we're gonna drop our right arm down to the mat and we're gonna lean over to the right. Really allowing ourselves to feel that stretch along the left hand side. And inhale both arms up towards the sky. This time we're gonna drop that left arm down and we're gonna lean over to the left, exposing our right side or stretching our right side. Inhale both arms up, exhale it down. And let's come on to our hands and our knees. As we come onto our hands and knees, we're gonna make sure that our knees are right underneath our hips and our hands are right underneath our shoulders. Let's bring the tips of our toes together and bring our hip, uh, knees out a little bit wider than our mat. We're gonna lean back, taking our hips back towards our heels. We're gonna come down into an extended child's pose. You're gonna rest your hand, head onto your hands here or you can extend your arms out um, and allow your elbows to rest on the mat or you can engage them. It depends on what you want to feel. But in this moment, I want to encourage you to really begin to set your intentions for your practice here. Breathing in, 
Repeat to yourself, I feel safe. Breathing out, repeat, I feel secure. Relax into your inner haven of peace here and just allow yourself to just breathe. When you're ready, you're gonna come back up onto your all fours, onto your hands and your knees. Allow yourself to feel settled here. And then we're gonna take our right leg and we're gonna step it back, keeping our toes tucked onto the mat, coming into a modified sunbird. If you want, you can extend that left arm out and you can leave it there or you can inhale, bring that belly up and lift that right leg, creating balance here on um, our right side. Remember to breathe and go ahead and release. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Extend that left leg back. Remember, we can stay here or let's engage our belly, lift our left leg and engage our right arm. Finding a point of focus here and breathe in. Go ahead and exhale it out. And let's tuck both toes. Begin to walk the hands just slightly up in front. Spread the fingertips nice and wide and let's inhale. Inhale, lift the hips back towards the sky, coming into a down dog. Knees are nice and bent here, micro bend, or we can straighten them out if this is accessible to you. Make sure you're breathing, not holding your breath, and go ahead and exhale it back down. And we're gonna come back into our extended child's pose. Toes together, exhale those hips back towards the feet and find your breath. Allow your forehead to come down to your mat. Simply breathe here. On the inhale, we're gonna inhale, come back up to all four. And we're gonna prepare for a down dog. So bring our hips together, toes are tucked. Walk the hands out a little bit further in front of us and inhale up, coming into our down dog, micro bend in the knee. And begin to walk the feet towards the hands, coming into a forward fold. Allow the crown of the head to come down, a little bend in the knee. And inhale, bring the hands towards the knee to create a flat back. And exhale it back down, forward fold. Allow yourself to just breathe here. Inhale all the way up, pressing the feet into the mat. Come up one vertebrae at a time. Exhale into our mountain pose. Palms of the hands are together here. From here, allow ourselves to make any adjustments. And we're going to prepare for warrior one. Take our right leg, step it back. I'm gonna drop that heel down to the mat or you can keep it lifted. Find what's accessible and comfortable to you. Just wanna make sure that there's a uh, bend in that knee and it's right over our ankle. And we'll take our arms and extend them out in front of us, running parallel with our ears. Our chin is forward, our focus is forward. And if you want to, you can take a twist here, taking that right arm, bringing it back, twisting to the right, opening up the chest and bringing it back forward. I'm gonna step forward and prepare to do the same thing on the left side. We'll take that left leg, step back, and drop the foot, heel of the foot in a 45 degree angle, or you can keep the heel lifted. Knee is bent right over our ankle. Extend the arms out and allow yourself to flow. And inhale it back in. We're gonna come to the center of our mat and just allow the feet to just be a little bit um, wider than the hips. And we're gonna come into our mountain pose, Tadasana. Palms are facing out and upwards. And just breathe here. Feel the energy as it moves through your legs, through your strength. Ask yourself, how are you feeling energetically? From here, we're gonna take our right leg, we're gonna step out a little bit wider, and we're gonna pivot that right foot, allow it to face the edge of the mat. We're gonna make sure our heel is in line with the arch of our left foot. We're gonna take our right arm, extend it out, and we're gonna hinge 
to the right with our hips. Allow that right arm to come in front of the right thigh. Left arm comes up and our gaze is up and over our left fingertips. Inhale it back up. Nice bend, 90 degree angle in our knee coming into our warrior two. Gaze is over our right fingertips. and release this pose let's prepare to do it on the other side this time we're going to take our right leg pivot it to the left excuse me left leg pivot it to the left right foot is forward hinge with our hips left hand is in front of our left thigh right arm comes up towards the sky or we can rest it right here on our hip bone gazes up over our right fingertips. Let's inhale it up and bend that knee. Make sure it's over the ankle, not overextended, and bring that belly in towards the rib cage. I didn't mention that before. And you wanna look over your left fingertips. Gazes right over and release. We're gonna take a little bit of a squat here, bring the palms of the hands together, and exhale it down. Find the squat or find the position that is most comfortable and accessible to you. I'm gonna make sure that belly is engaged here and you're breathing. Inhale it up. And you can heel toe the feet together or you can step. And we're going to inhale our arms all the way up towards the sky here. And as we exhale, forward fold. Nice bend in our knees here. Allow the crown of the head to come down. And begin to walk the hands and allow the body to come back down to a seated position. And come down to your mat to the best you can. And we're going to keep the soles of our feet on our mat here. And bring our fingertips back behind us. And our fingertips are pointing towards the body. we we'll take our right knee. It's still bent. And we're coming to a modified boat pose here. Try the same thing on the left side. Allow yourself to feel this. You can remove your hands, it's optional. Allows you to feel it a little bit more. And if you would like to, try both feet, bringing them up, keep the knees nice and bent. It's optional to remove your hands and allow yourself to experience the full benefits of this pose. When you're ready, come back up and bring the feet just slightly out right arm comes back behind us i'm gonna twist to the right left arm comes on the outside of our uh, right thigh here again leading with the chest same thing on the other side left hand behind us right arm on the outside of our left thigh and twisting to the left and we're going to release Let's allow ourselves to come all the way down onto our backs here. Knees are still bent, so that the feet are on the mat. And then we're going to inhale, bring both knees in towards the chest here and give ourselves a hug. Optional, you can bring your chin up towards the chest or you can allow your head to rest on your mat and begin to just rock from side to side. I'm going to take a release, bring that foot down to the mat, and this time we're going to bring our right leg extended up and cross it over for a little bit of a half pigeon. Take that right arm and press against our right thigh. Allow ourselves to feel a nice little opening stretch here. And go ahead and release. Same thing on the other side. Extend the left leg up, point and flex the toes. And then bend at the knee and allow the left ankle to rest on the right thigh. Press into the left thigh, opening up that hip. And go ahead and release. Bring both knees in towards the chest once again. But this time we're going to open up the hips just so slightly. You can reach down and grab the ankles or the soles of the feet and extend the legs back. We're going to make sure that the knees are bent, bringing them in towards our chest, in towards our um, mat here. And you can rock from side to side. Allow yourself to truly experience happy baby. Let's go ahead and bring our knees together and the soles of our feet down to our mat. 
gonna slide our hips over so that our left hip is primarily on the mat. I'm gonna allow both knees to fall to the left. Right arm extends to the right like a half T. Left hand is on top of our thigh and we're gonna look over with our right chin towards our right fingertips. And when you're ready, you can move over to the other side and do the same thing on the other side. Allow yourself to just be. And coming back up, I'm gonna prepare for Savasana here. I'm gonna allow all of our limbs to just come down towards the mat. We're gonna lay flat. Here, you don't have to worry about holding on to anything. Let the feet go, let the hands go, and just simply breathe. Palms are gonna be facing up here. If you feel safe and comfortable, allow yourself to close your eyes and begin to breathe. Consider counting the breaths here. So inhale through your nose. One, two, three, four, and hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, and let it go. Allow yourself to completely be releasing your mind. Starting from the crown of your head, down through the soles of your feet. Look for any areas of tension. Scan the body and find any areas where you do not feel like you're able to relax. And mentally tell those areas, relax. This is my time. For the next 30 seconds or so, allow yourself to just be without the sound of my voice. When you're ready, you're gonna roll over into your right or your left side, coming into the fetal position using your forearm as a pillow. Allow yourself to just simply take in your yoga practice. And when you're ready, use your hand that's on top and press it into the mat to bring yourself into a seated position. Just the same way we begin. Arms out and we're gonna inhale, palms facing up, exhale, palms facing down. As you exhale, take the tongue, stick it out, and exhale out through your mouth for a dragon's breath. One more time, inhale up, palms together, exhale right here at the center of our heart. And that is our yoga practice for day, a nice slow vinyasa flow.